Hey there Jenna, this is Jastin from North Island Nissan. I wanted to make you a good walk around video of this 2015 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X that we have on the lot here. One of the last ones as you can see that we have. Um, coming to the front, um, it's got a four, four liter V6 engine. Really powerful, really responsive. This one is the off-road package, so it's got your tow hook on the left there, as you can see, as well as three separate skid plates to protect, you know, your fuel carriage, your oil pan, everything on the undercarriage, if you were to do some off-roading, or even if you're just driving on some rocks. So this one's got the fog lights. It also has these Dynapro Handcook off-road tires. They got cross-treading on them, as you can see, so they stick a little bit better on the road than your standard stock tires. They also look cooler, a bit bigger, a little bit beefier as well. Here's a side shot of the vehicle. It's nice having the extended cab, you get a bit of a longer bed. That's why I went with the extended cab, as well as getting the transmission, the manual transmission. Um, here's a side shot, another side shot. It's got a tow package as well. If you were gonna do some towing, if you had you know, a small trailer, if you're planning on getting one in the future, just nice to have. It's got your backup sensors, as well as, hey there, backup camera. Nice to uh, get in and out of any parking spots. Or hook a trailer up. So it's a factory sprayed on bed liner after the vehicle's been acid washed, which means there's no dust, dirt, grime, or anything below um, the, uh, the bed there. So you know it's not gonna be compromised. You know it's a sturdy and a rugged bed. It's also got a bed extender that comes out here. Folds out. If you had some bikes, you had some wood that you wanted to put in, um, and you need the tailgate down to haul that stuff, you can be safe with your bed liner there. And it also has a Utilitrack cargo system. What that is, as you can see right now, our bed extender is hooked up to that system. It's this, it's this steel frame all along the side. You see on, on the top there and on this side. And it's also on the bottom. Right now it's covered by this rubber guard. But you can put your cleats all along the sides there. And that will uh, be for your tie downs. So if you had bikes, ATVs, you can secure the suspension down and it won't rock back and forth. And yeah, it'll just stay nice and secure in your truck. Here's another shot of the vehicle. Super clean looking Frontier here. And I'm just gonna jump inside the cab, Jenna, and I'll show you some features, okay? All right, so before I hop in, I just wanted to show you the extended cab. It's got your clamshell open, suicide doors. These are the jumper seats, boom. Right now I had that one. So this regularly, this part right here folds underneath your jumper seat, but I, had to, I was demonstrating it to another customer actually, how you could actually put a booster seat in there as well. Um, that's your cleats, those are your, your pretty much your tie downs that you throw on in the bed, and that's your uh, hitch, your toe hitch. So let's just jump in and I'll show you some more features. First off, we'll get that noise out of there. There is your display. As you can see, 64 kilometers. Brand new vehicle. You got your Bluetooth audio. Hook your phone up, play music through your phone. You can uh, send uh, text messages, receive calls all through your truck. It's pretty cool, actually. You get a phone call. You just hit this button right here. And then, boom, you're talking to your friend, you're making a work call, or you're uh, receiving a text message, there's a little robot voice that'll read it out to you too. Of course, you know, you get your power windows, power mirrors, power locks, cargo lamp if you are doing some work in the bed at night. Four by four, two wheel drive, and it's on the fly as well. Like, uh, we got some snow here in Campbell River. I don't know how Vancouver was, but we got a little bit of snow. And uh, it was just nice, because I didn't have to rely on always being in four-wheel drive. I could just be in two-wheel and then see a patch of snow and then just flick it to four-wheel quickly, let go of the accelerator and boom, coast over, be nice and safe. Or if I'm turning as well was a big thing. But uh, no, it's nice to have heated seats. Got, got it on high right now. Uh, it's really nice to have. It keeps you nice and warm. Uh, traction control if you wanted to do some drifts, do some off-roading, and uh, you didn't really want traction control to repeat on you, you can turn it off there. That is for your backup sensor. And that's locking rear tip. So it'll lock the speed in which both back wheels turn. So if one of them starts slipping and goes a bit slower than the other one, it's not gonna impede the other. It's gonna actually lock them in both the same speed. Really useful to have you do some off-roading. Um, no, it's a ton of fun. And, uh, and yeah, there's your center deck. You also get a dual climate control. It's a marriage saver, I like to say. Premium cloth seats, super comfortable actually. The bucket seats as well. Pro 4X embroidered. 
too. Here's your glove compartment. And you also get this pop-up storage over here too. Um, of course, the six-speed shifter, put the clutch down. Get your one, two, three, four, five. And to go in reverse, you push down, bring it back. So right now it's beeping at us because it's got your lane sensor. Just turn that off. There's your backup camera as well. It's got a night vision mode too. It's super useful to have. I mean, I didn't really think I needed it and then I started using it a lot and it's like, well, it makes things so much easier. It makes things so much faster. It makes things so much quicker. So I had a bunch of fun doing that. And uh, you got a navigation system as well. Oh, there you go. On the fly map. Right now we're not on any roads, we're at the dealership, so it's showing us over there. You get your street addresses, points of interest, tons of cool things. There's a lot of cool features about this truck. If you have any questions, let me know right away. I drive this myself, so I'll be able to answer anything for you. And the auxiliary inputs, USB input there too. So yeah, Jenna, just, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any, any questions at all, be sure to let me know. I'll, I'll answer them quick and uh, as fast as I can. So yeah, thank you for watching.